Unfriended Dark Web. So Unfriended Dark Web is a sequel to Unfriended, which came out a few years ago and didn't do too good. It's about a group of friends who get together on Skype to play games for game night. But unfortunately for them, one of them stole a laptop, and when he opens up the laptop, he finds out that the previous owner is a psychopath who works for a group called The Circle, and what they do is kidnap people and kill them for money for views, basically just like the movie Hostel. From beginning to end, this movie basically just, it takes place 100% on a computer and it's done well. The writing's good and the acts are all great. You're just interested the whole time. I didn't ever get bored at all. I was just interested in what I was seeing. Everything was great. The characters that were introduced in the beginning of the movie are all great. They all got like a distinct personality. You got the, the tech guy and you got the, the conspiracy theorist guy. You got the disc jockey Asian girl. And then you got this lesbian couple who just got married and the one girl has a mom who's sick. They all have th different things about them and different personalities and they're all likable and the acting is great. Not Academy Award winning great, but it's great. There were things that they brought up in the beginning of this movie that actually have a payoff in the end. They bring it back up and they use it in a smart way that makes you go, oh, that's why they brought that up earlier. I like that. The conspiracy theorist guy was pretty funny and the, the British guy, he was pretty cool. He's probably my favorite character because I just felt he was pretty cool. I liked him. There were some genuine like suspenseful moments in this mo movie. like Not like pop-up scares. This movie doesn't have any pop-up scares that I can remember. And I like that because we, as a horror fan, as a... A scary movie fan, you hate the pop-up noise, the sound effect. This movie doesn't need that at all. It's just supposed to be suspenseful. Not like Killer in the Mask popped up from the shadows trying to scare you. It's none of that. But there were actually moments in this movie that were actually suspenseful. Like a clock ticking down. And they gotta like make decisions. And it's just like you don't know what's gonna happen. The Asian girl, I don't remember her name. She had a weird name with a bunch of X's in it. Lexi? I don't know. I feel like they didn't give her character enough time on screen. We didn't really get to know much about her other than she was a disc jockey girl who loved music because there was just all kinds of like music equipment behind her and then when she dies it's like unexpected you're like wait what when was the last time i saw her i don't remember what was going on with her she was just on the phone she left and then the next time we see her she's unexplainably in this situation where you're like how did she get there what did i miss which i didn't really like that i don't know that's just me now, unlike the first Unfriended, this one isn't supernatural. It's actually a group of people who work for these higher-ups who like to see sick stuff because that's what they like to see. They pay money for it. But the abilities these hackers have, in some moments, they just feel super, like, supernatural. Like, how does one possess that talent? How do they get all of that compiled together? How were they able to pull that off? And they have, like, impeccable timing in situations where it's like, really, did you really plan that? How did you do that? It's just like they felt lucky in some situations. And I find it kind of ironic that this cast of people in this PC movie is a PC cast, if you want to say. I just feel like they're trying to check every box. Not, I'm not saying that it's wrong. You, I mean, this group of friends could exist. But to me, it was just like they were trying to check every box. It was almost like a group of people who get together to take a photo so they can be on the front cover of an Applebee's menu. Like... Like, we're all hanging out, having drinks, we're all fun. I was surprised my Filipino cousin didn't just show up, like, hey, I'm in this movie too. I'm just playing. But the main character's like, the main character's dating this deaf girl and he creates this app because he wants to be able to like speak to her and then every word he speaks pops up on her screen so she can not have to read his lips. And that comes back in the end to haunt them in some way. I'm not spoiling it. But like I said, they bring things up and it's smartly written to where like they, it's not just things said to kill time, they actually use it. Now what I didn't like about this movie, because as a slasher fan, I like to see blood. This movie's rated R, but but there's no blood in this movie. Every kill is like a cutaway, like it just like it's about to happen and then it's just gone. But that can't that's not really a negative for most people. But if you're a slasher fan, you're not gonna like the blood in this movie because there is no blood. And then once you get to the end of the movie, it's like that cliche end that says, you know, like there's gonna be more sequels, so be prepared. And for a webcam movie, this movie was shot well, so these people had really good webcams apparently. I bought a webcam and it sucks. I didn't get no 1080p and it says 1080p right on it. This is a fun movie, but I don't think you could enjoy this movie more than once. This is like a movie you should only see once because there's no point in watching it a second time. Like action movies, they're fun to watch the second time. Slasher movies are fun to watch the second time. There were some things that I felt were kind of unexplained. Like when he gets the laptop, 
There's like all these messages that keep coming in from all these different girls who I guess were like victims before. And they just keep talking about this ticket. Like, hey, when are you going to come see me? Like, oh, I got, you sent me the ticket, right? And they don't even explain. I don't think they even explain what that was all about. I think I missed that. I don't know. But yeah, those are my thoughts about this movie. Very suspenseful, good acting. And so I recommend you get it at the Redbox. Have you seen Unfair the Dark Web? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. Make sure to like and subscribe and tell all your friends about my videos and to click on my sexy face in five seconds and until next time I'll be the scene